Hello guys, welcome to a, another settlement survival video and welcome to another guide, helpful tips and a learning process that we both can learn as we go along. There may be some things that you didn't know that I might say and you think, oh actually I'll take that on board and there might be things that you can leave in the comments that I've missed so I can learn the game as well as you learning it as well. So today, as you can see by the thumbnail, it's all about farms. So how to get more efficient farms? How can you produce the best crop yield that you can? Well, there's a few things that obviously will help this. As you can see here, I've got a new starting, starting area um, that they are starting. I put that on low first because they haven't got any houses yet. So obviously your farms, these are all fully unlocked. You've got a standard farm, so you've got a yield that is standard. But fertilizer field is great because it can give you 20% more yield. So it boosts the yield. So a fertilizer field is something that you do need to put down. It will absolutely help. So we're just going to put one here and we're going to do one there. So you've got your farms, you've got one here and one there. I will just start this up a little bit quicker so they can actually build it. Once they decide to build it, I will make them go a bit quicker. Here they go. So we're going to build that. So once, as that is building, we're going to see what you need to unlock. But first... It's great, they've got the fields, and that is absolutely brilliant. Um, it's got a boost yield, so it's very, very efficient. It's better than the standard yield. Um, as you can see, there is quite a few different ones. Um, so, a normal field is sown in March and harvest in September. A fertilized field, but it's, it's fixed. It's a fixed standard. Um... And then obviously you've got a standard field, but you want fertile field, it's got a better yield boost. So we're just going to do for now, we're going to put in lettuce here. And we're going to do pumpkin in this bit here. We've got three people on there, three people on that. So that's quite good. What you can do to make them more efficient is by putting in a stone road. People travel at least 25% more by using a stone road to get to places. So putting a stone road, they will get there quicker. Let's have a look at the development area. Horticulture. This is everything that you need to actually boost on what you need. So a field yield is plus 10% that is obviously lack here. A pasture yield is an extra 10% percent right so compost very very good you can get a compost plant this also really does help fields fertile field again as you can see it gives you a boost yield so it means that you will get more crops after you've started it this here is very 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 important as you can see once this is unlocked the speed of sowing and harvesting is a hundred percent more efficient by unlocking this item here so the speed of sowing and harvesting is a hundred percent that obviously makes a lot of the time when they're taking it so yeah that's very important as well plantation very 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 important um, this is like the nursery if you like a plantation you can also plant herbs in it now this isn't a starting game this is a bit further on because you do need glass and you can't do that straight away um, but it does give you an extra 50% on yield. So as you can see, that is all there as well. So that is brilliant. I'm going to just quickly have a look. The well is important as well. So you want to put these pretty close to where the fields are. Obviously, the fields need to be close to where the warehouses are so they can actually 
take the stuff when they actually sow it when it comes to obviously harvesting time they can actually harvest it really quickly and put it straight into the warehouse or the storage area depending on what you've got available but make sure this is built very close to the fields you need to plan stuff before you do something so here we've got two fields here when this becomes harvesting like they're doing now they literally have just got to go across the road to actually put it into the warehouse and then they can come back Obviously, when it is harvesting time, if you can, it's best to have four people harvesting because it's it does take some time doing it and you don't have an awful lot of time to harvest, depending what you're actually doing. So a stone road, very important, so they can gather, they go much quicker. A yield, a better fertilized field is so much better when you can. So you need to upgrade that when obviously you can do that. Um, so here they've obviously completed that before it even gets to the winter because when the snow comes and the winter comes then that's where there's going to be problems um, so yeah it, it, it needs to be um, definitely a yield field so you've got a yield field you've got water either side obviously water at this time of early in game isn't needed but it will need to so you can use fertilizer to increase the yield. So obviously you do need a compost. You need a compost plant that is there. Again, you can do this at the beginning and you wanna make sure this is pretty close to where all the fields are. This will give you better compost and better fertilizer to get to increase the yield on what you need to. So make sure you've got a compost plant very close by. I will make sure that they do this quickly. Um, so this is right next to where they need to go. I'm just going to um, do that up very quickly. So yeah, fertilize field that boosts it. You need a compost plant that's very close to the actual fields. Um, warehouse or some sort of stock very close to the field. And then a stone road if you can around the fields because it gets people there quicker. When it comes to harvesting, try and put as much people as you can into it so you don't lose any crops before the winter hits. So autumn harvesting, this is where you'd have full wax. Now when it goes into the winter, you can just close this, okay? And then you can open it. You don't need to individually take them out. So when it becomes the winter time, like it is now in September, you don't need to... Um, I think that's all I can produce, yeah. Um, you, you don't need to actually take them all out all you need to do in the winter so you can have extra four people maybe cutting trees down in the winter or doing something else you just close the field close the field and that's it and just leave it like that so you've suspended the field when it becomes planting again in around March time then you need to just click that oh enable it and the people that were working there are still working there it's nice and easy it saves i've seen a few people on videos i've watched taking them all out you don't need to do that just close it it suspends it and then you're back again nice and nice and easy so we, we close that so that is one one of the main important things on obviously making your farms more efficient you need the compost there, you need the warehousing and the storage close to it so when they harvest it, it's they don't have to travel very far. You need to yield a fertilised field because it produces so much better um, yield. And on top of that, obviously the compost will, if you use certain fertiliser, that will increase the yield as well. So hopefully that has been um, some sort of help. Some of it is very, very common sense, I know. Uh, but yeah, that is how you get more efficient farms. If you know any other ways that will make them more efficient, then please leave the comments below and I will try them to see if they do make it more efficient or not. But at the moment, this is the only way that I can see that makes a very efficient farm. Until next time guys, thank you for joining me, please like and subscribe and I shall see you in another guide or I shall see you in a let's play or in another video. Until next time, thank you very much, I shall see you soon. See you later.